Hello, welcome back to Gabby's Book Talk. Glad you are joining me today. So today's book, uh, book talk is a mashup of genres that I am sure young adult readers, especially boys, will truly enjoy. So Sherry Dimeline gives us a dystopian sci-fi Native American piece with her book, The Marrow Thieves. So this story takes place in a future where climate change has affected the world severely. Um, this damage has caused non-indigenous people to lose their ability to dream when they sleep. Now to cure this, they have to forcibly take the bone marrow from indigenous people who still have the ability to dream. So this is where we are introduced to Frenchie, a 16 year old indigenous boy whose mother has been taken by the recruiters who are the people that take or harvest the bone marrow. So Frenchie and his older brother Mitch have decided to flee, but they are discovered by recruiters, so Mitch offers himself up while Frenchie hides. Frenchie is then rescued by a group of natives, and this is where Meg, an older um, indigenous man, shares how it exactly it is that dreams are integrated into their bone marrow. Now, as they travel from place to place and uh, try to avoid falling into the hands of the recruiters, the characters ch share their narratives and begin to form friendships and even relationships along the way. Uh, Frenchie starts dating a girl named Rose who joins the group. A little while later, after the group can and actually evades a uh, capture, Frenchie is reunited with his estranged father. Now, Frenchie is furious that his father was unable to keep Frenchie and his brother Mitch safe. But eventually, they are able to patch up their relationship, which Rose finds kind of boring. So she decides to move away and go find her own journey and carve out her own path. So she leaves Frenchie. So at this point, Frenchie has to decide, does he remain with his father after they have fixed their relationship? Or does he follow the girl he loves? So Sherry Demoline really has created a wonderful narrative with this mashup of genres that allows us to look at how Canadian indigenous groups or people were really suffering at the hands of uh, colonialists back in the day by transporting us into the future, into this dystopian world. And so I highly recommend that you pick this one up. Um, it is a really incredible. Um, so let me know what you all think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.